Hey, good morning. It's Saturday, May 30th. It's hard to believe May is almost over. Time really does fly. Our word for today comes from Isaiah chapter 38. And in that chapter, there's a, a story of both tragedy and triumph. Isaiah is given a message to give to Hezekiah that says, God has said, get your house in order. You're going to die. You're not going to live anymore. Understandably, this breaks Hezekiah. This troubles Hezekiah. He turns his face to the wall, tears his clothing as a sign of repentance, prays and weeps and asks God to touch him. And God gives Isaiah the answer to go back and tell Hezekiah, tell Hezekiah, I have seen his tears. I have heard his prayer and I'm going to give him 15 more years on his life. And to prove this, to let him know that I'm serious about this, I'm going to give him a sign. I will turn back the sundial 10 degrees. Hezekiah asked him to do that as well. He, he was given a choice. That's what he asked God to do. And so God reversed the sundial. That means he turned back time. I'm not talking about daylight savings time. I'm talking about reversing time itself. I'm talking about turning back the earth's rotation around the sun. You say, preacher, you're crazy. God can't do that. Oh, yes, God can. There is nothing impossible with God. And I don't question his ability. I believe God did it. He turned back time. I would say that in all of our lives, there's been something that's come up the way we've handled something or uh, the way we've spoke to someone. We wish we had the ability to reverse time, to go back and have a do-over. But only God can do that. It'd be nice to have a do over on this year, 2020. It seems when January started, this COVID uh, pandemic began, and it just seems like this whole year has been one thing after another. It'd be nice to have a do over on the year 2020, but the truth is, even in this pandemic, God has used it for His glory. There are some great things that have come out of these last 10 weeks. God is still on the throne, He's still at work. He, he doesn't get rattled, He doesn't get off track. He's still saving. He's still touching people's lives. Well, we can't reverse time. We can't go back and get a do-over. But here's what we can do. We can pick up where we, left, where we left off. Some of you haven't been in church since March 15th. And for you churchgoers, you faithful of unity, that's the longest stretch in your Christian life that you haven't been in God's house. Well, all that's about to change because uh, come Tomorrow, Sunday, May 31st, we can pick up where we left off. I want to encourage you to do as David said in Psalm 100. Let's come before his presence with singing. Let's put our fears about what's happened the last 10 weeks and our anxiety perhaps about what's going to happen in the near future. And let's set our minds on things above. Let's put our minds on the Lord. Let's remember we have an audience of one when we get here. And it is Jesus Christ. We want to worship him. I want to encourage you to come to God's house with your mind set on the Lord Jesus Christ. How grateful we should be to be able to assemble once again. I miss you all. And I can't wait to see you this coming Sunday. God bless.